All right, everybody, I'm back. We had some onion rings. I'm still frying. When you got a fryer going, keep going. Use that hot fryer for, like, whatever you got in the freezer, chicken, pork chops, whatever you might have left over. But check it out. Those are my tomatoes from outside. I'm doing some gardening on the patio, which is good, you know. And, you know, it, it's not doing it for fun. I'm going to use this. I use this for pasta. As for fried food, it can grab. But I'm going to show you. Because we African Americans, we usually don't fry chicken or anybody really uh, in tempura. Only usually Oriental people, they fry everything. The vegetables, the chicken, you know, they won't fry nothing else. They don't fry pork chops. I don't know. But these onion rings are the last few left. Yeah. That means I've got good oil. Last few left. And, you know, when you get the hanging on stuff, make sure you get that out. Because when you fry your chicken, you're not going to want that stuff in there to stick to your chicken. I'm a real traditionalist with fried chicken. There's restaurants in New York. There's high-end restaurants, I'm telling you. And they're all over New York. Yeah, I'll take those out. They're just going to be a little light. That's okay. Because I'm getting hot up in here. Woo. You got to turn the air conditioning on when you're doing this stuff, you all. Everybody loves uh, onion rings. You know somebody that doesn't like onion rings? If somebody didn't like onion rings and didn't like fried chicken, I wouldn't trust them. I wouldn't trust them as far as I could throw them. <laughs> okay. I got batter on my fingers. Okay. Check it out. I had this chicken left over from a cut up. And this is the tempura batter. I added a little bit of soy sauce, and I use garlic, and then I use uh, seasoned salt. That's one of the secrets is Lowry's, but we cooks know that. There goes the fried chicken, baby. And what's most important, everybody? The temperature. Make sure you got your temperature right, and you have to, if you don't have a frying a parage that is a, a, a whatever you want to call it appliance you have to by hand do that you have to by hand and I'm not can't put another one in yet don't want it to flow over I had that happen to me one time y'all it flew over <laughs> and look at all these onion rings I got left I'm not eating I'm Steve's eating I'm not eating I'm sitting here cooking but one time back in the day when I was a young girl, I've always cooked. My mother put me in the kitchen and she said, Joni, stand at stand there and get up on a stool or whatever she used. And I started cooking when I was five or six years old because we had a big family. And I know when I see people on these tutorials cooking I really like to see the sisters you know they on there and they are gonna show you what they do now we always make sure we clean as we cook then you won't have a kitchen full of dishes and pots and pans right that's what my mother taught me so she took me in the kitchen and she said Joni come watch me cook and that's what I did and she would ask me to hand her this bowl and hand her that bowl. And it wasn't just to put me to work. Ooh. 
girl boys when you cooking you start sweating that mean that food gonna be good you gonna put your foot in it all right I'm gonna put this on YouTube because I think that people need to see how easy you know you're gonna have some trial and error I have some young girls you know that I had talked to in the past you know and they get married, you know, possibly they don't know how to cook. Everybody don't know how to cook because you certain come from a certain place. You don't necessarily know how to cook. But I watch the girls, you know. And we can all learn something from somebody else. But I'll tell you one thing. Hi, Wayne. Hi, Cindy Lou. How you doing? Am I making y'all hungry? My husband's probably in the room watching. He gonna see, trying to get my recipe. <laughs> yeah, you don't mess with it. Don't mess with the chicken while it's frying. Yeah. If you deep frying, you don't touch it. Wait till it floats up to the top. And if you have it at the right temperature, you will never burn your chicken. It will come out right there won't no, be no blood coming out of it. You ever see people do that? My husband and I went on vacay, Wayne. Hey, Steve. How you doing? Noon, yes. And anyway, uh, we went to the Grand Canyon. And we had a, 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 a bungalow and everything on Grand Canyon. And we went to their four-star restaurant. It was packed. And I ordered duck. And I read up on the duck. It was on the menu. It said, do not eat the chicken. See, I read. Do not eat uh, duck poultry that is not done. You will get sick. E. coli. Steve, let me tell you what they did. It had blood coming up out of it. And... The people that were cooking, the chefs and everything, came out and looked at me. I got up. Ooh. Don't you love onion rings? Come on over here. I'm getting ready to come to L.A. You got to take me to, uh, to Pink's Hot Dogs. All over the world. Famous. Yep. All of the people in L.A., they stand in line. Lines will go around the corner at lunchtime. You get them good bottled strawberry or little squawberry, like I said, that little boy I knew when I was growing up. Yeah, he couldn't say strawberry. Ooh, I'm going to let you look at this now. Tired of looking at me. There you go. Look at that. Now, that's the kind of fried chicken that you are going to get in one of the best Chinese restaurants all over the earth. If they are a good Chinese restaurant. Now, some people think because it's a Chinese restaurant, it's good. No. I've been to Chinese restaurants, everybody, that will serve you something that's just foul. Okay, I went to one place one time, and they must just be doing it to me. I've been having Jehovah. I've been being persecuted my whole life. You know, you go to a restaurant, and they gave me some vegetables. Looked like they came out the trash. Oh, yeah. You know, and that's why we pick our restaurants very carefully. My husband and I will not go to a restaurant and see, tempura is really uh, fragile because, you know, it, it may fry too fast. The tempura may look like it's getting brown and then your meat is not cooked. And, you know, you can't punch it with a knife or nothing. So and you bet not because then you take it away from the uh, juice. And I just got some legs and a couple thighs in there. My husband likes the thigh, but mostly he likes a chicken wing. Honey, bring the, bring the thing with the, uh, 
Oh, I no, no. Bring the thing with the paper on it. When you go to the restaurant, they... You hungry, Steve? <laughs> Ooh. You got to hold the plate, sweetie pie. He can come get his food and go back in the room. Come on here. Yep. It's not quick because you ain't paying. You ain't paying attention. <laughs> hold the phone. Okay. Talk to Steve. What's up, Steve? Wayne. Wayne's on. Who else on there? Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Ooh, girl. Okay, I'm using I'm using the uh, thing I use for pasta. See that? You want to get your grease out of there. You don't want no greasy chicken. That's what hurts chicken. Chick chick. Grease over fried or under fried. You're gonna undercook. Oh, honey. I told Steve to come on. Where's my waffles? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, chicken and waffles. You know, you know, Steve knows all about Roscoe's. Yeah, does he know Roscoe's? You know, you know Roscoe's, don't you, Steve? You done now? Turn up? Yeah, that was the last piece of chicken. Look at that. And honey, I'm getting out the hot sauce. Show, show him the big hot sauce you got me. <laughs> he got me a giant. Hot sauce. There you go. That's uh, 32 full ounces. <laughs> and she's almost got it drained. It's almost gone. How long have I had? All right. Okay, everybody. Turn it toward her. Woo. That's it, y'all. We got some fried chick chick. As my mother used to call it, the babies used to eat it. She'd sit with the baby on her hip. And she would take a piece of chicken and she would put it in her mouth. She would take it out of her mouth and give it to the baby. And she would say, and get some chick chick. And the baby starts saying, chick chick, ain't that something? I talked when I was eight months. Oh, yeah. And I never stopped talking. I love you guys. I wish you were here with me. I just wanted to show you my work. Hi, Edward. How you doing? Yeah, it's some good fried chicken, y'all. Look, I'm sweating. That means, <laughs> that means you've been working at it, okay? Hair all messed up. I don't care. I love you guys so much. I wish I could bring you soon. <laughs> all right, you guys, you have a good day. And go fry you some chicken and, and uh, try the tempura. The secret is you put ice water in it. And the batter has to be a little bit heavy. It, you could still have some uh, lumps in there. And use whatever kind of seasoning you want. Just make sure you don't over fry or under fry. And the, the temperature is the key. And keep turning it up and down as you see it going. <laughs> I love you too, Steve. Yeah, that's my brothers and sisters. That's what, that's what we need. We need to do things like this. And we need to cheer people up. My husband doesn't like showing food all the time, but, you know, this is to cheer, cheer us up. Okay. All right. Pray for us. We pray for you. In Jesus' name, we pray for you. All right. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody.